culture if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti I create content on sewing tutorials and turban camp and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really really appreciate you in today's video I'll be showing us on how to make this trending booboo style with this fringe that is raining all over the place it is a very simple style this is the fabric that I'll be using for today's tutorial. This is the fabric that I'll be using for today's tutorial. It is crepe. It is a soft crepe material. You can use dushes, you can use satin, you can use African print, you can use any fabric of your choice goes for this style. So I'm using this crepe material because it is a multicolored this blue chalk might not really show on the fabric that is why i'm going to mark on this pattern paper so that you guys can see it very well i have the size of my fabric on the paper the only difference is the length the length of my dress is 60 inches so the length of this flange is 25 inches this is the long one is 25 inches so I'm going to minus 25 from the full length of my dress that is what I will use for the length of the fabric that I'll be drafting on let me go over it again whatever your full length of your dress is like mine is between 60 to 62 inches the length of this flange is 25 inches so i'm going to minus 25 inches from the full length of my dress whatever i have is what i will cut on my fabric then by the time i attach this to the lower part of the dress is going to complete the full length of my dress so I'm going to put this aside for now and draft on the paper my fabric has been folded into four because I'm cutting the front and the back bodies together line I'm going to mark neck width four inches neck depth for the back one inch neck depth for the front I'm going to use five inches Connect the neckline. I want my from this folded edge of the fabric, I'm going to place my tape measure like so, 
and I'm going to measure 21 inches. 21 inches is around my elbow. That is where I want my sleeve to stop. At this 21 inches, I'm going to measure one and a half inches. I'm going to connect from the one and a half inches to my neck width for the shoulder slope. I want my sleeve opening to be nine inches. I'm going to extend this. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in by two inches. I'll curve it like so, as you can see, I curve it like so, then from here I'll connect it straight down. That's just it for the drafting of the dress, as you can see, it is very easy. Then, I'm going to add half an inch at the shoulder before cutting it out. That's it. Another method you can use to get the wideness of your dress measured from the shoulder to where your hip line is then impute your hip measurement divided by four plus five to six inches seam allowance though the seam allowance depends on how wide you want your dress to be so i'm going to be drafting it on my fabric and cutting I'm going to cut out facing for the neckline. This is the facing that I've cut out and I've ironed interfacing to it, as you can see. So the next thing to do, I'm going to sew it to the neckline. This is the front bodies. I've turned it with facing at the neckline. This is the back bodies. I've turned it with facing at the neckline as well. So the next thing to do, I'm going to place the right side facing each other. Then I'm going to take to my sewing machine. I'm going to join them at the shoulders. Facing to facing, then bodies to bodies. I'm going to place it like so. And sew half an inch straight down. I'll move to the other side. I'm going to repeat the same thing, facing to facing. I'm going to sew half an inch straight down. 
after that i'm going to end the sleeve opening and sew the sides then i'll show us on how to attach the flinch to the lower part of the dress i've sewn it as you can see i've sewn the sleeve opening i bend it twice and i aim it with half an inch round then i've sewn the side seam this is what it looks this is the neckline i'm still going to use emmy gum to lay the facing well so that it will not be popping out this is the neckline So the next thing to do, I'm going to sew this to the lower part of the dress. I'm going to measure half an inch away from this edge. I'm going to measure half an inch like so. I'll measure it round the lower part of my dress. After that, I'm going to place the right side of this flinch. I'm going to place the right side of the fringe to the mark, leaving half an inch. Are you seeing it? I'm going to place it on it like so. Then I'm going to stitch it down round the lower part of the dress. After pinning it down, make sure that you pin yours down round the lower part of the dress. Then I'm going to sew on top of this edge. I'm going to sew on top. I'm going to sew round the lower part of the dress. After that, I will now fold this half an inch. I'll fold it inward like so. Are you seeing it? I'll fold it inward and bend it this way. By so doing, this will be facing like this. Are you guys seeing it? Then I'm going to top stitch on it round. This is the final outcome of today's tutorial, guys. As you can see, it is very easy to make. It is cheeky, classy, and comfy. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. And give me thumbs up if you find this tutorial helpful and interesting. That same day, I made this as well. I also use crepe material for this. The only difference is the facing, the sequence that I added to this one. But it is still the same process. I also use crepe material for this as well. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. I upload weekly tutorial on my channel. Until I come your way next. Please stay safe and remain blessed. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.